always on my mind. All day, just all the time. Ming Chuan University International College brings together students from 65 countries across the globe. It is one of the few schools here in Taiwan where students can read for undergraduate degree totally in English. The students they come from diverse and rich cultural backgrounds and they bring to the institution unique experiences. But what is it like to be 24, married and in college? To tell me about that, with me here in the studio are Michael Jeffries and his wife Emily. They're both from Michigan in the USA. Michael studies international business at MCUIC while Emily studies Chinese language and culture at the National Taiwan Normal University, Shuda. Well, they got married on August 11 of 2007, right before coming to Taiwan. Michael, Emily, welcome. Thank you. Hello. You're both college students and married. How popular mm -hmm. is that in the United States? It's pretty normal for our age group, um, early 20s. Um, it's probably the minority in the in the U.S. for an undergraduate degree. Many people at our age are studying masters already, but mm. more more normal than uh, than here in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So when you tell people in Taiwan that you're married and you're reading for a degree, <laughs> an undergrad degree, what kind of responses do you get? Surprise. Um, Normally they say I'm we're joking. so young. <laughs> How does that make you feel when people think that uh, you're too young to get married? Well, at first. I felt funny explaining it every time, and now I'm more used to it. And I just yeah, I would say <laughs> at first it was, it was strange, but after like two or three times explaining it, it got to be pretty normal. Yeah. Okay, um, many people see college as a time to experiment, to have a little fun in life. Uh, why did you decide to get married just before starting college? Mm, you can answer that one. Uh, well, we knew we wanted to get married. Um, we'd been um, together for a few years and it got to the point where we knew we wanted to spend the rest of our lives with each other um, and so really what we did after we got married was the question not whether to get married or when to get married but we're definitely getting married and then what to do after that and doing a degree sounded like fun so why not? Yeah well I mean we had both had jobs in the professional world and um, we're at a point where we were wondering what to do next in our career, you know, in, next in our in our life, and we both wanted a degree, and Time One was giving out scholarships, so <laughs> it seemed like a really good idea. Some people say that getting married at such an early age, and especially in your situation where you're in college, it can be a little restricting. W what are your views on that? Um, we're still kind of trying to figure it out. Because we are young and we, and we want adventure, obviously, because we're here in Taiwan. Um, but because we do both want adventure, then we end up trying new things together. It's not any more restrictive than not being married at this point because we'd both decided that we wanted to marry each other and be with each other forever. Can you, you think of any disadvantages of being married in a situation like this? Like for us, no, because no. we knew we wanted to be together okay. and we knew we were the ones to get married to each other. So, I mean, like there really is no disadvantage. Okay, the issue of time, you're both reading for degrees. How do you make that balance? Um, well, it actually helps a lot that we go to different universities, surprisingly. Like, I have my own friends, my own day-to-day -day routine. He has his thing going on. We have different schedules. And I kind of view that as time to ourselves. It's not a it's not a Siamese twin life. It's still we're both just two people. We happen to be deciding to be together forever, though. And if somebody were to ask your advice on maintaining a, a serious relationship or going steady as opposed to getting married while in college, what would you say to them? The clearest answer that I have for that and it's very com complicated and convoluted answer is that <laughs> it depends on the people involved in either the serious relationship or the marriage it does and there's not like a set um, this is what you should do when you're in college answer it's it's per person per situation per everything okay thank you very much Michael thank you very much Emily and best of luck with your studies and your marriage thank you thank you that was this week's Me, My Wife, and My Education. Our guests today were Michael and Emily Jeffries. Join us again next week when another couple share with us their experiences of being married and in college.